The Paul and Johnson All-Stars getting ready for the New England Regional Tournament a little bit later on this week. Now the locals have been playing and competing against each other all summer long, so they only have a few days to really come together as one team. The, this group, though, very confident in all the talent they have on their roster. Yeah, I mean, you see these kids, you know, playing against them all year, and you kind of, when you play against them, you kind of like, wow, like, I hope they're not actually that good as they look. And now you're kind of like, yeah, I'm really glad that they are that good. So that's kind of a nice treat. But just seeing them play and stuff, like how good everyone is, it's really exciting to watch because you know we're going to do well. I mean, during the season, it's like a lot of them, like, you don't really like the other guys on the other team. You're like, oh, I don't want to face him. I don't want to face him. But now we have fail going game one. I'm excited for that because we face him in the regular season. He's a really good pitcher, so it feels good. There has been in the past, or this past season, a couple of disagreements between the teams, but um, now that we're all on the same team, it's, it's kind of nice to become friendly with one another. These are a great group of guys. You know, it's fun watching them play in the regular season. You're looking at them, and you're, you're wishing that you could play with them, and now you can. Paula and Johnson, they're considered the Western Mass champion. They play New Hampshire Wednesday afternoon. It's in Walpole, New Hampshire. A win, winning in this tournament, you have to win a few games, earns them a trip to the World Series. Holy Cross's Jehiva Floyd recently signed a contract to play professional basketball in Germany. It's a two-year deal for Floyd, who is the two-time Defensive Player of the Year in the Patriot League and Jehiva is very excited to continue a journey that he started on the basketball court when he first came to Holy Cross. Dream come true. Uh, I've been wanting to do this since I was young, like being able to play professionally and making a living off doing something I love. Um, it's exciting and I'm glad it happened. I'm, all anxiety is away now. I know where my career is going. Just trying to Soaking every, all the experience and uh, seeing the world in a different view, different perspective. I think it would be definitely good for my, my growth as I had the same kind of open mind coming to Holy Cross and I see what I've been able to do here. So I'm going to keep, keep that same mindset to go over there and do as much as I can to become a better person on and off the court. Good luck to Jehiva. He leaves for Germany next month. He's playing for MHP Riesen Ludwigsburg in the German league. A little basketball locally now. Sutton and Oxford. Girls summer hoop at Shrewsbury High School. We picked this up first half. A little defense from O-Town. Olivia Clarkson with the SWAT. Keeping the Pirates tough early. Liz Maroy though. Maroy's with a floater and it falls. The Susies grab the early lead and they just keep coming. Finding Hannah Nichols inside and she finishes for two. Some great passing here from Sutton. Meg Perry Finding Nichols, good interior feed for the finish off glass. Sutton building that lead and then attacking the glass. Megan Burke taking away the rebound and going strong for two. More from Burke, she goes on a little mini run here. Going to the hoop strong for two more off glass. More from the Susies in transition. Skylar Gorginski to Burke, hoop and harm. Sutton building a big lead. Clarkson and Oxford battle to the end, but it is Sutton in this one. They win 30 to 12, your final. Everybody's favorite baseball league, CNEBA action. Shrewsbury hosting Ronnie's. There's DZ, he's playing second base. Dylan Zona's playing second base. It's gotta be summer ball. Bottom six, nine nothing Shrewsbury. Pat Johnson, he fielded his choice. Nick Genitasio scores 10 nothing Shrewsbury. Ronnie's, Ryan Belinskis, he started the game, then he comes back to the mound. Gives up a walk here. And then a little fly ball to get out of the inning. Belinskis doing a job. Shrewsbury too much in this one, though. Nathan Lyons closing the game. Dogs get the win. 11 to nothing. Your final. CNEBA, great league. A lot of great college athletes in that league and some former college athletes as well. A lot of fun to see some of those guys up there tonight. Well, that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News Tonight. For Andy Lacombe, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you back here tomorrow.